Hey guys, I just want to start off by saying thanks to the community, um, everybody that's been involved with getting this uh, back plate um, sorted out and worked out. A huge thank you to Whisper, a huge thank you to a, a lot of different people, um, especially in measurements and stuff. But So this is going to be my final product. Um, this will be the last one that I do. This is essentially um, what the, the new kickstand looks like. You can see I have the kickstand here and a 2280 M.2 here um, that just has a cover that you can pop right off like that. And you can swap these uh, SSDs in or out. You can go from a 2230, a 2242, 2280, really anything will fit there. And I left enough room here for a heat sink uh, to put on top. So um, pretty cool stuff. All right, so we're just gonna go over kind of all of the basic things that you need to get started here. Um, first, of course, is gonna be you need to 3D print my case and the kickstand. Um, you're gonna need the original hinges that come with the, um, the back plate that comes with the Lenovo back plate. Uh, you just take them off here, and those are the same hinges that you're using there. Um, from there, you're gonna need this adapter here that you can get from AliExpress. I'll leave a link in the in the description uh, as to how to get this. And then of course you need a 2280 uh, SSD. Um, so the way this is gonna go together, after we have everything together, and I'll show you that process in a second. Um, after we have everything together, what you need to do is take this SSD that's on the adapter and put it through this hole here and go just a little bit past it. You can kind of see I went a little past it and then slide it in. And what that does is it will lock it in place. Um, so boom, it's locked in place. And then I have this little tab here um, that you can take the M.2 and slide it up underneath and that will lock it in place and it won't go anywhere. Um, it won't go up or down or left or right or anything. It's, it's locked in there. Um, you can kind of see no movement at all. So um, that's kind of what the goal is here. And we are gonna move over here um, another item that you're going to need are these little itty bitty uh, brass inserts. Sorry for the vacuum in the background. Um, it's... All right, so the next thing that we're going to need here um, is these little brass inserts. Um, they look like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these inserts and insert them into the little holes here. Um, and what this is going to do is provide stability to the back plate and the hinge. That way you don't have to worry about it falling off or anything. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description for those as well, but they kind of look like this. And I have a case here um, of different inserts. You don't need this one. Really all you need is this M2 by 3 by 3.5. Um, and that's these little inserts here. So that's kind of where we're going to start here. Um, just to give you guys an idea, you can do this with pretty much anything to heat it up. I was doing it with a 3D printing pen, kind of just like this. Um, I took it to 230 degrees and then put the insert on the end here and dropped it in there. Right now, I'm not gonna do that. Um, just for ease, I'm gonna actually use this uh, soldering iron. So like I was saying, there's many different ways that you can do it, but uh, we're gonna use the soldering iron. Um, so first things first, what you have to do is go ahead and grab one of these inserts and um, I take the smaller end, whoops, I take the smaller end um, and put it in the hole and the thicker end that way. So you're going to go ahead and take it and then just melt it right in place like that. And I take a screwdriver to prevent it from coming out with it and just flatten it out just like that. Um, you can kind of see it sitting in there nice and I melted it into the piece. So once that dries, that's not coming out. Um, and it just provides a lot of stability here. So again, you're just going to do this on all these different pieces here. Another one here. You can kind of see how quick it it actually um, melts into the piece. So it's 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 pretty nice. Um, it's melted in there, and same thing. You just keep doing it. Another one here. That's nice with these solder, soldering irons is they're they're pretty quick, and they'll melt pretty quick. So it's kind of it's kind of nice. I have benefit. Um, and then you're gonna do these three here, and once those three are done. Um, you're going to actually just move over to this uh, same thing here. This is the kickstand. Um, you're going to take it and put the thick end into the soldering iron. Try not to burn yourself. And into the kickstand. Same thing. And then once it's melted in there, go ahead and let it go. Make sure it's straight. I don't know. Try to get it in there as straight as possible. Um, and then you're going to do it here, here, 
here, here, and here. And then once all of those are in there, um, you should kind of have something that looks like this one over here. Let's get the SSD out. Uh, you should have something that kind of looks like this here. And you're just gonna take the screws that come with the hinges and screw them in to each one. Um, you can kind of see how it's how it's set up here. These are the hinges that come with the Lenovo uh, Legion Go backplate. So just make sure exactly how you take it off is exactly how you put it on. Um, and it should work out nice for you. The added benefit of this design, this new design, is that I made it a little bit thicker. Um, so it comes off just a little bit and it will give you a gap between the battery and um, the back of the back plate here. That way there's additional airflow um, between the parts inside. Um, but the, the, the cool thing here is that I'm seeing about 56C under high load on the SSD, which is amazing. And I seen anywhere from uh, 55 to 63 degrees on the APU. So it's a, it's a massive difference. And just, just alone having this, um, this slot here is, is big too, because you don't have to spend all that money on that, that very rare 2242. So uh, I hope you guys like this. Um, I know I've put a lot of work into this. I know the community, Whisper, thank you very much. Whisper IT over in the official Discord. Um, he really helped kickstart this thing off um, with the initial design um, and then me just taking it up each time he posted something. I'd, I'd take it again. I'd take it again and I'd remix it. So again, thank you very much and I hope you guys have a happy holiday and a Merry Christmas and have a good day.